Hi children, welcome back to our language class. Today we are here to learn about developing hints. This developing hints is given in your question in the writing section. You are going to write developing hints for 5 marks. Ok children, so this is the writing activity in the question paper. It will be for 5 marks. Are you clear? Let's see about developing hints briefly. Developing hints. His developing the phrases into full sentences and not merely filling up dashes. So, phrases into full sentences means in your question paper, they will give like phrases. What does mean by phrases first? Phrases is nothing but it is a group of words. Okay. It is. It cannot be given complete meaning. If it is uh, having proper subject, verb and object only, it is a complete sense or complete sentence, right? So, in phrases, we have group of sentence, but it doesn't give complete meaning and it is not a complete sentence, okay? So, in the question paper, you will be get the group of words. In in between the dashes. You should uh, make that phrases into sentence to create a meaningful story. You should not fill the dashes like uh, fill up exercise. You should not fill the dash dashes. You have to create more sentences from the given phrases. Okay children. In developing ends, we will do what is given in that question that we will make a story, right? So, for that we have to follow these given instructions. First one, read the passage twice or thrice carefully. Before you are going to make a story from the given hints, you have to read the passage twice or thrice. For what means? You have to be clear on that given passage. From, uh, from that you have to make a story, right? So, you have to clear what is the theme given in that passage and what are the characters are there and which title will be suitable for that. Everything you have to understand. For that, you should read that passage twice or thrice carefully. And second point, understand the passage well. You have to understand the passage well. After you are understanding only, you can create the complete story which will be suitable for the given ins. For that, you have to read it and you have to be understand that. And third point, jot down the points. Jot down the points means you have to create more sentences related to the given hints. Then only you can create story, right? So, related to that hints, you have to create more sentences to give, a, give an attraction to the story. Fourth point. Even the events in the passage or in present tense, write the story in the past tense. So, the question is given in the present tense means you have to write your answer in the past form. For example, in the question paper, if your answer is given like once there is a boy. So, what you have to write in the answer? As once there was a boy. So, the present tense changed into past form, right? So, like this, your question paper, they may give in the present. But your, in your answer, your story should be in the past form. If in your question, the, the hints are given in the past form means, no worry. You can directly write your story as well in the past form. And you should, you should not write the stories in the direct form. Most of your sentence should be in the indirect speech. And fifth point, arrange the matter in two or three paragraphs. Your story should be in three paragraphs. 
so each paragraph must be contains 6 to 7 lines so totally you have to write three paragraphs each paragraph contains 7 6 to 7 lines at last you have to give a suitable title related to the given hints before you are going to write the story you should keep us you should set a suitable title for the given hints that you have to write in the beginning of the story at last you should write a moral for the given hint what you are writing in that story related to that you should write a moral this is the complete set for the story which you will be writing in the writing section so keep it in your mind all the explained these instructions see children this is your question for example read it develop the following in, into a readable passage and give a suitable title so this is the question part so here they have given hints this also question listen all our phrases it doesn't give complete meaning right a rich farmer is it a sentence no it is not a sentence it is a phrase because it is a group of words it doesn't give complete meaning or it, it, it doesn't have any sense right so there are many group of words a rich farmer lot of land cattle and servants two sons so these are all phrases that we shortly called as group of words or phrases right so in between that they have given dashes you should not feel right a rich farmer is uh, lot of land was like that you should create some sentences in between the dashes you have to create it let's see how to write the answers for this hints see children this is the answer for that given hint in the question so that is question now we are go we are going to see the answer so for that hint they have given a suitable title as the disobedient son see how they have create a story once there was a rich farmer whenever you start to write the question you have to start it with once if the question if your answer is started with once your you should make the full story in the past form because once means it is already happened So it is already happened. So every sentence should be in the past form. Like see once there was a rich man. But in your question they have given only rich man right. But here they have started with once there was. So every story should be begin, beginning with once. Once there was a rich man in a village. He had a lot of land, cattle and many servants. Many servants. He had two, two sons. He had a happy life with them. After some years, the younger son became unhappy. He asked his father for his share, father for his share of the path property. His father advised him not to demand like that. But he would not listen to his father's advice. He got a share and sold them. He had a huge amount with him. With this amount, he travelled to a distant country. He had bad company there and fell into evil ways. All his money was gone. He became poor and no one helped him. Then he understood his mistake and returned to his country. His father and brother took him into their fold and supported him forever. So, from this story, what can we understand? 
so we should obey the parents so here they have given a given the moral after writing the story so what are the points you have to follow first you should write the title and your story must be in three paragraphs each paragraph can be contained six to seven lines and then at last you have to give moral for the story after uh, the three paragraph uh, paragraphs you can leave one line and then you can write moral it seems and then a uh, story should be in the past form and you should add more sentences to improve your story are you clear my dears yes i hope you could clear thank you for watching